All right, welcome back to our second chapter here on our landing page tutorial. The last video we did, we um, mocked up this landing page you're looking at in Photoshop. And I'll just give you a quick overview for those of you that have not seen the previous video. You may want to check that out. Um, the last one we went ahead and actually created this uh, landing page from scratch in Photoshop. And it's about a 45 minute video. It'll show you from you know nothing to this final version right here exactly how I built this and you'll get a good overview on where we're at right now. If you're coming to this video with your own landing page design in Photoshop and you want to learn how to cut that up and uh, bring it over and uh, get it into HTML and CSS, this would be a good video for you to watch. Um, basically what we're dealing with here are a few different images. We've got this uh, book mock-up right here from Graphic Burger and we've got these little speech bubbles and the only other graphic in here is this background right here and I'll show you where I got all those assets from you can download everything if you want to follow along with what I'm doing um, I'll give you a, a link to all those here in just a minute so you can uh, download them but basically the last video we um, I went over the skeleton briefly went over the skeleton um, CSS boilerplate and what it does for you as you're designing. So if I turn on the grid that we used, you're gonna see that you've got this 12 column grid that we ended up using. And so the reason we did that is for laying out the page in CSS and HTML so that we have an actual guide or a grid to go off of. And this video is where it's going to actually be useful. So we'll go over how this works and how that translates over to um, the page layout. Uh, back over here, this is our final version right here. So this is what we're actually going to design here. This is what it's going to look like. So if you look at the two, um, again, one of the things I stressed in the last video is I, I never really do um, pixel perfect designs. It to me, there's no real reason to do it. It's you, you know when you when you mock something up in Photoshop, you're going to get 90 to 95 percent of the way there that you know 10 5 to 10 percent or so you're gonna kind of just massage and take some freedoms as you're laying it out in CSS and it's great that way because you can actually start to kind of fine-tune massage the design as you're going along it doesn't have to be pixel perfect you'll tear your hair out trying to make it pixel perfect it's just a pain in the ass don't you know my recommendations don't try if you have a client that really wants it that way obviously you know you might need to do it but most people, most clients, most people I've worked for, they're not looking for pixel precision. They just want a good visual idea of what you have in your head, a way to communicate it. Um, and that's why Photoshop is such a great tool. I mean, I, I keep talking about Photoshop, but I mean, in reality, you can use GIMP or any other tool that's out there to lay it out. Just make sure you lay it out and you understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, and how this uh, grid system is gonna relate to your final design. So let's go back here to our landing page. Now again, we've got three assets. We've got the book, the background, um, and the speech bubbles. And so I'll tell you where I got those from. But uh, let's look at those really quick. So right here, this is graphicburger.com. And they offer this, uh, it's a nice looking you know, photorealistic book mock-up. You can go here and download it if you'd like. I already have everything on my local system, so I'm not gonna download it right now. Over here to Subtle Patterns, most of you have probably heard of it. If you haven't, go check it out. Great website, they've got a bunch of free um, uh, patterns that you can use for you know, backgrounds or whatever else you want. This one I'm using is called Tweed. And again, just download it and use that. And I've, um, got a folder here set up let me get into it and what we're going to do is create a couple folders in here one is images actually I'm sorry let's take that back for a second let me go back to the skeleton grid system my fault got ahead of myself this skeleton at uh, getskeleton.com it's a grid system and it's based off of the, the 960 grid system, 960.gs, I believe is the, um, the URL for the old grid system. And it was used a lot, a lot um, over the past few years. It's kind of, um, 
it's not being used as much just for the simple fact that it is not um, uh, responsive. That's where skeleton comes in. It is built with media queries. So let's go down to the bottom here. And you'll see what it's kind of, it ships with, you know, what one, two, three, five different uh, media queries in here for different devices. And so that's what makes this, it's really lightweight, really powerful. It's not overly complicated. There's not a lot um, to it actually. It's really simple. So if you want a simple project, you know, like these landing pages are great candidates for it. Even websites, you know, getting into the medium projects, this might be a great tool for you to use. If you really need, you know, the, the full feature that some of the other boilerplates um, come with and the, or the frameworks and the boilerplates come with, you might want to reconsider using this because it doesn't have as much stuff packed into it. But check it out. It's a good thing to, um, to look at. It's getskeleton.com. So going, oops. Going back here, um, skeleton, this is the download file. So when you download, when you click here and download, what you're gonna see is this right here. You're gonna get a zip file and it's gonna have some stuff in it. The CSS, the images, and the index. So let's start at the top. We'll go to the CSS and you've got a normalize.css and a skeleton.css. The normalize is simply a reset file and the skeleton is the, um, the, the boilerplate the framework of the skeleton uh, system images it's going to ship with the fav icon in there the png and just simply an index.html file so i'm going to take these assets i'm going to copy them and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put them into a folder here that i've got set up and so there we go <clears throat> so in my um in my production folder here, I've got those same files, my images, my CSS. Now images, this is where I'm gonna stick all of my um, assets. So we've got the book mock-up and we have that background and the speech bubble. And I forgot to mention the speech bubble was just an old asset I had laying around from another, another project. So, you know, get that from wherever you want, but that's where I got mine. And I'm gonna go ahead and take those three. We've got books. We've got speech and tweed. I'm gonna copy those and I'm just gonna drop them right in there. Um, we've got the images set up. We'll go back out here and uh, we've got our index file set up here. And that's pretty much it. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this video here. The next one, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, get into the index file, we're going to get into the CSS file, and we're going to go ahead and start taking our design from this Photoshop file and actually transferring that over. So check out part two. Be right back.